It's a great day, my amazing CEOs. You know, I live in Washington, D.C., and one of the things we have a front yard and a backyard we try to do is we try to do gardening, right? My wife's into gardening now. She's into doing um, plants. <clears throat> it's a whole new experience for us. But if you look back and rewind several years ago, by the way, when I tried just to have plants in my house, it was just a total disaster. You know what I mean? Thinking, Shay, what is you having plants in your house? have to do with sales. Well, I've got to tell you this because there's a system to taking care of plants, right? You've got to be able to water them, got to give them enough light, got to know the type of plant that you have going on there. This is a whole process and I'm not going to call myself a plant killer, but I wasn't known for having a green thumb. How's that? And plants didn't last very long in my house. Even the plants that didn't need water. And I know that sounds crazy, right? It sounds crazy. Like, Shay, how is that even possible? You shouldn't have got that easy and made it work. Well, it wasn't working for me. So enter in Easy Plant. Now, Easy Plant was just a game changer for us because one of the things the Easy Plant allowed you to do is it allowed to do a self-watering system all by itself. I mean, okay, okay, check this one. Number one, it takes out the guesswork. You only have to water one time and throughout the entire months, the plant system takes care of everything else for you. Now, imagine someone like myself who travels a lot and they're not here to take care of the plant. Well, with easy plant watering system, it, the simplicity is there. I mean, the brilliance is there and it makes it so much easy. So what's the big takeaway for you as a CEO this morning? Because again, you might be wondering, what does plant care have to do with sales? Three things. Number one, in order to generate more sales in your business, you must have a sales system, just like Easy Plant is a sales system. Also, when you're going through it, you also have to have a way to have a strategy. And think about it. I had a strategy before. It was water the plants. I even tried having a little gardening system out there to automatically turn the sprinkle on. But you got to remember to do the timer or it doesn't work. And it just didn't work for me. And maybe that's how it is in the business right now. You want to grow the business. You want to generate more revenue. You want to serve more people. You want to make a bigger difference in the world. But the only way to do that is to make more sales. So number one, have a sales system. Number two, listen to what the clients need. I know it sounds overly simplistic, but isn't that so true? Easy plant. If they didn't do that, and they didn't solve that problem, well, they wouldn't be in business today. You do those two things, and you will be very, very successful. You see your revenue go up, 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 and away. With that being said, welcome, everybody, to the CEO Sales Huddle. My name is Shay Brown, and every single moment we get started, I love to start off with our mantra because our mantra is our beliefs, is what we believe in, is what we talk about every single day. And our mantra is if you can't focus on sales, you can't be in business. Why? Because sales is the oxygen for every great business in history. And without sales, there's always more money going out than there is coming in. What's the point you want to make, Shay? Selling at the end of the day is serious, serious business. Now, once you have that established, and I know it's not going to be blown away by it, but isn't that just a great mantra to have every single day? We move to our second segment. Our second segment is learn, earn, and return. And it's my belief that every morning when a CEO wakes up, it should have a pledge. The mantra is what we believe. The pledge is something that we pledge to our sales department that as CEOs is what we're going to be focused on, is what we're going to be doing. And our pledge is learn, earn earn and return. Go ahead and say this with me. I must learn something new. There it is right there. Follow along. I must learn something new in order to earn new revenue. And that's so true from existing clients in order to make, have new and old clients return. So I must learn, I must earn, and I must return. Now we get together every morning. We, we have a main objective and our objective is grow the sales. Objective is very simple. Grow the sales. Objective is very simple sales progress. So we get to take a look at every single morning. Hey, how are we doing? What's going on in the sales group? Where are the revenue at? What are our biggest objectives? And what are the biggest changes that we have to deal with? Then also, we also look at any roadblocks that are out there. And then we also talk about the five sales pillars that every CEO must know in order to understand, to grow the business. And these are five pillars. Pillar number one is you must have a sales plan a one-page sales plan. If you don't have that, please go over to www.ceosalesplan.com right now. Download the one-page sales plan. Then on the other side of that, 
Sales pillar number two is the sales cycle. What's the cycle that our clients go through from the time that we connect with them till we communicate with them to the time they're ready to convert? Number three is the sales message. What are the words that we're using with our audience every single day? And then number five, four, I'm sorry, number four is the CEO sales dashboard. What gets measured gets managed. What gets managed gets better. We're going to get into that today. And that's probably one of the, the biggest things that we focus on that I can't wait, by the way. And then you, you go down to the last one, which is a, have a sales team. At the end of the day, nothing happens unless a sale is made. So we're going to focus on that. Now, for those folks that are tuning in that haven't downloaded the CEO sales dashboard, you can head over there right now to www.ceosales.com huddle.com download there's no cost there's no charge for everyone else who's joining in every single morning we appreciate you do me a favor look right below the video look right below the video and go ahead and put hashtag i'm here hashtag i'm here is the bat signal that you and i were in this conversation this morning um and you can connect with other ceos that are out there by the way and then for those that watch the replay hey maybe you can't be here at 8 a.m every single morning but you're here now we appreciate you. We honor you. Look right below the video and put hashtag replay. I never get tired of connecting, never get tired of recognizing you for the winner and the champion that you are. And for everyone that's online, thank you so much. Some of you on the on-demand streaming platforms, you're downloading the podcast every day you show up. You go back and listen. I appreciate the comments. Do me a favor. Go look at at I am Che Brown. There it is right there, at I am Che Brown. Drop me a DM. Let me know what you you're enjoying about the show? If there's an area you say, Shay, I'd like for you to cover this. We want to do that so we can continue to add value. We listen to you and what you have to say, by the way. So thank you so much, by the way. We appreciate you. Now, you might be wondering why CEO Sales Huddle. What is it? CEO Sales Huddle is a place where CEOs gather to understand how to sell more faster. And we have one outcome. And our number one outcome is, well, three actually is sales account of sales growth sales accountability, and sales consistency. And you may have heard this before, and it's so true, that consistency is the key. Consistency is the key. Having said that, what do most people struggle with most? They struggle with consistency. So we only ask that you tune in for 15 minutes a day. So there are 1,440 minutes in every day. You tune in every day so we can get to the most important part that we love to talk about every single day, which is really getting down to the CEO sales dashboard. And the CEO sales dashboard is one of my favorite because it's an opportunity for you every single morning as you show up to be able to go in and take a look, be able to measure what's going on. You may have heard this before. What gets measured gets managed. What gets managed gets better. So we have an opportunity to do that. So let's go over to CEO sales dashboard. Go ahead right now because we have one outcome and our number one outcome is $100,000 a month over and beyond whatever you're earning today of consistent, predictable, reliable revenue. That's $100,000 a month over and beyond whatever you're earning today. As a result of you being in this conversation, you focusing on sales, the one area that you serve, the one area you make a difference, and the one area that you're able to help more people than possible. So open up the CEO sales dashboard. CEO sales dashboard was created because there was a number of folks, CEOs, who said, you know, what do I need to look at every single day? What should I measure every single day? What do I need to keep my eyes on because there's a lot going on right now? And I said, look, there's only five areas. Isn't that pretty cool? Leads, appointments, offers, deals, and repeat business. You measure those every single day, and I promise you, you'll see your sales go up. I promise you, you'll, you'll put the resources in the right place. I promise you that the sales organization will be top of mind. I'm not saying they're better than any other area. We need all the others. We need marketing. We need branding. We need automation. We need PR. We need all of that. But here's what I know for sure. There's only one area that allows you to write the check to pay for that. And that's sales. So let's go look and see what's going on in the sales department. Open up your CEO sales dashboard right now. I'm going to it right now. You go to it right now. Let's put it up. It's one of my favorite things to do every single day. There you go. There we go. The CEO sales dashboard. It looks just like this. So you can go over there now. And as you go over there, you can now look. And you see there's leads, appointments, offers, deals, and repeat business. Now, our philosophy is what gets measured gets managed. What gets managed gets better. So do me a favor right now. Do me a favor right now. Go over there. Go all the way across the top. And just go all the way across the top. Find today's date. Come down. Let's just look at leads first. Look at leads. Now, inside of 
leads, we have four different categories. You can customize this. You can make it fit where you are. I get it, and I'm going to recommend that. But there are really four primary categories. The primary, four primary categories are engaged leads, which is right there. There are new to the CRM. There are referrals, and there are qualified leads. Now, you can, you can change it. I get it. But what gets measured gets managed. And I'm only asking you to take a few minutes. Some of you do it right now while we're in this conversation. You're over there. You're opening up your dashboard right now. You're plugging in the numbers right now. Congratulations to you. It's a huge step. It's a huge step. But it's the right step in the right direction because now you can measure the leads, appointments, offers, deals. And if you're looking at it right now saying, I need to increase my revenue, for some of you, if you just focus on the lead generation bucket and then seeing who's qualified, you can put your energy, time, and effort in the right place for the sales organization, for the sales organization. And if you don't have any leads, you're like, okay, this is where I need to start. Now, go back and look at the last 30 days and just see how the last 30 days have been coming along. Now, let's, let's, let's go back over to it. Let's open it back up. There it is right there. Now, go over to appointments. Now, how many appointments were set yesterday? How many appointments were run yesterday? How many appointments were one-to-one -one or one-to-many? How many appointments did you have for collaborations? I want you to go back and look at the offers, the deals, the repeat business. Now, don't get caught up in, the, oh, this sounds good. No, 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 no. We know one thing. What gets measured gets managed. What gets managed gets better. And that's where the focus is going to be. Now, after we look at the CEO sales dashboard, which is one of our favorite things, things to do is look at the CEO sales dashboard. After we do that, we're going to go celebrate some wins, all right? Because we're going to take a look at and say, you know what? We've done some things right. And we know the powerful people ask powerful questions because questions, they're focused. And in this life, you get exactly what you focus on. So I want you to take a look for a moment right now, seriously. And as we go into celebrate outcomes, I want you to say, you know what? What's, what's been a big win for us? Like, like, what were some of our biggest wins that we have out there that we want to talk about? So three questions. Number one, what are you most proud of? Go ahead and write that down. Like, look at where we are today. Look at yesterday's results. Then look at last week's results. And then slow down for just a second. It only takes about, a, about 90 seconds. It might be a conversation that you don't have an opportunity to have often, but you're here. You showed up. Well, you showed up. So what are you most proud of? What was your biggest accomplishment yesterday just in the sales department? Ask for anything else but in the sales department. And then last, what do you want to brag about? No, no, seriously. You look at, forget yesterday. Maybe yesterday wasn't your best day. I get it. So if you went back and looked at last week and said, Shay, I'm raising my hand. I'm one of the CEOs on here. The last week, my sales organization, this is what I'm most proud of. It doesn't really matter. Maybe you showed up for the, for the CEO dash huddle every morning. Congratulations. It, it's, you, it might sound like a broken record, but you're in the conversation. Maybe you've been filling out your CEO sales dashboard. And as a result of filling out your CEO dashboard every morning, which you can do right now while you're listening, you're now putting the resources in the right areas. Part of life is showing up, but the other part is taking action. It's about taking action. So it's not just about showing up. It's also about, you know, what action am I taking as well? So let's go over and look at and say, you know what, Shay? Life ain't perfect. I get it. There's some obstacles. There's some hurdles. So now we're going to look at the other side of it. And we always say powerful people ask powerful questions. The question is why? Because questions, steer focus. And in this life, you get exactly what you focus on. So let's go over there and look at right now. Uh -oh, I don't know what I did there. I want to take a look at, there we go. This appeared on me there. Okay, there we go. I'm not sure what I did. So, I don't know. I guess it disappeared on me. That's weird. Do, 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 do. Okay. Well, hopefully you can still hear me because I think I can see myself. Maybe you can see me, but I can't see you. Anyway, if you're out there right now, Thank you so much for tuning in. We are live. This is what happens when we're live, but I can see you, but you can't see me. So there's two things. Number one, what was your biggest challenge yesterday? And then look at that because we're looking at hurdles. What was your biggest challenge over the last week? And, and what's the one thing that's held you back that if you make a change this week, it can move the needle? Powerful people ask powerful questions. And we know in business, just like in life, there's hurdles. We know in business, just like in life, things happen. We know business, just like in business and life, sometimes it don't go the way you plan, but you're in the game. Now, with that being said, let me give you the message of the day. 
the message of the day is stay the course. No matter what's going on, as it relates to sales, stay the course. Believe in your mission, your goals, your objectives. Follow the CEO sales dashboard. I've got to just generate leads, find people with a problem. My organization, every day, got to get in front of people who have a problem. Share if they do that, the magic happens. And then we're going to, when it makes sense and they're qualified, we're going to make an offer to them. I'm going to measure those three categories. I'm not worried about deals right now. I'm, I'm not worried about repeat customers. Some of you only focus on I'm gener- finding people with a problem, getting in front of people with a problem, and then at least making an offer that you can solve their problem. And, and you do that. If your organization does that on a consistent basis, the magic happens. With that being said, my name is Shay Brown. Thank you so much for tuning in to Sales Huddle. I want you to know that you're amazing. You're incredible. It's an honor and a privilege to serve you. And I believe as you're watching right now, your best is still yet to come. Your best is yet to come. Your best is yet to come. Thanks for joining. We out of here.